I just wanted to talk a bit about uh, shoe repair. It's an issue that I like because uh, you shouldn't just throw good shoes away. Uh, shoe repair isn't really something that's done in the US at least. Not, not, it's not as prevalent as it is in Europe. So take a look at these shoes for example. They're all leather shoes. They were great shoes but I had problems with the soles. On these guys the soles came off. These guys the soles came off about the first year I started to wear them. But this is really good leather so I always felt bad about throwing them away. And I kept repairing them. Uh, but the repairs were never done right. These guys again I had problems with the soles. And they look horrible because I use them now for garden repair. Or for, for, for working in the yard. But here's a neat thing. I finally found a good cobbler. And those of you unfamiliar with, uh, with the term cobbler. It's a shoe repair man. But it's, it's a term that comes from Europe. So have a look at the wonderful job he did on these shoes, for example. This is the original sole, but he reattached it and he sewed it on here, you see, with real thread. It's sort of kind of an, a lost art. Many cobblers don't do this anymore. They just stick it with glue and, and of course it's going to come off again. He also replaced the heel. The same thing on the other one. Now these guys, I've always loved the, the leather in these guys because it's, it's, really, it's really thick. It's really thick and it's, you can see it's quality leather. Even, even the, uh, the laces are leather. Um, and the sole would always come off right here. And what I did finally is I took him to the same cobbler. And you see what he did? He sewed it back on again. And I've been wearing these, these uh, shoes actively for the past few weeks and I've had no problems with them. So instead of ending up in a landfill somewhere, these shoes are going to be able to give me years of service once more. Which is, which is great because I, I don't like throwing away good shoes. Now these, <laughs> unfortunately, you see the, the sole wasn't sewed back on but it is staying on quite well. What happened is that um, the sole wore on these shoes and these are again Italian leather shoes. These are American leather shoes right here, these two pairs. So I wore them for about a couple of years or maybe less than a couple of years and finally um, I had it, started having problems with the sole. So I figured, no problem, I like the style of the shoes, I don't want to throw them, let me just take them to a cobbler. Well, the cobbler, I told him what I wanted in terms of the look, but the sole he ended up putting on is much shorter than the width of the shoe. So these, these shoes originally had a sole that was sort of like a ridge, came up around the shoe, so it gave it a, a, a more interesting look, sort of like on these shoes right here. What he did is he cut the sole directly... Um, around the shoes so it just it looks odd it looks like old-fashioned shoes from maybe like the 1800s <laughs> or something like that like that but on the plus side it is a leather sole and the heel is made of very resistant rubber so you can't argue with a leather sole I didn't want to throw them away for the longest time I just kept them in my closet not really knowing what to do with them and this year I finally started using them for yard work <laughs> Seriously, I mean, I wouldn't wear these in town because it just, they look odd to me. Maybe to some people they look good, I don't know, but they look odd to me. But they work great in the yard, and I'm probably one of the few people um, who works in their yard with Italian leather shoes that also have leather soles. It's kind of nice to think about it that way, you know? Anyway, that's that's my little rant on, on uh, cobblers and shoe repair. It's uh, I always think it's better to repair stuff than to throw it away, especially when... It looks as good as this or as this afterward. So uh, keep that in mind. Look for a local cobbler or shoe repair man. And if he's good, uh, keep using him. Because um, if you've got good shoes, I'm not talking about sneakers here or those cheap, you know, $20, $30 shoes. I'm talking about shoes that cost, you know, $70, $80, $100, $200. Those are the shoes I'm talking about. And they deserve to be repaired. So um, keep this in mind. Look for a cobbler.